Shanghai GDG is a very interesting、uh, developer community. I'm glad somebody has asked this question. I mean, this is where the magic happens. This is primarily a question and answer show. So, if any of you out there would like to ask questions. <laughs> Hi everyone! Welcome to this week's session of the Google Plus Platform Office Hours. Today we're going to be pretending that we're on Mars, and we're going to use the opportunity to explore sharing from Android applications. And、um, before we dig into that, though,、um, let me introduce myself and those around me, my co-hosts. I'm Jennifer Murphy. I'm a developer programs engineer on the Google Plus platform, which means I help you build cool stuff with our APIs, plugins, and other things. And joining me today、um, is Julia. Hi, everyone. I am Julia Ferrioli. I am a developer advocate, working mostly on mobile these days. And from behind the scenes, until this moment, Shrag is also joining us. I'm also a developer programs engineer on mobile. Thanks, Shrag. You'll be a.、Uh, you'll, you'll see his involvement in a few minutes.、Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, what do you have to show us, Julia? So with. With all of the information going on about curiosity, and I'm not talking about the one that killed the cat, I'm talking about the the one on Mars right now.、Um, we thought it would be neat to build an application that let curiosity share to its other rover friends、um, from to, from its application to Google Plus. So we built an app that that lets it do that.、Um, we thought we'd let it do a couple things. The first is simply sharing、uh, text. And some links to cool、uh, images or Google Plus pages, and the the second is how it can actually direct those、uh, those particular share intents, as we call them, to Google Plus itself, and the third is to let it actually、uh, take pictures and share those pictures into Google Plus. Sounds really cool. Yeah. Okay. So. Should we look at some of the code that lets this happen? Yeah, we love code here. I know. Okay, so、um, the first thing that you'll see on、uh, my code screen here, this is Emacs, is this import statement for importing the ShareComPat class from the Android support library.、And、this is called ShareComPat. This lets you easily build share intents、uh, within your application. With pictures, text,、uh, and additionally, to in Google Plus have attribution back to your application when the item is posted. So it's pretty cool. So here you'll see a standard Android activity.、Um, we call it Curiosity activity. And down here we have a one particular function that basically shares an image. From Curiosity, we have a couple of arrays of strings in our resources files、uh, that have links to images and some fun pre pre specified comments that you'll see a little bit later. So the first thing we're going to do, just to mix it up a little bit, is to select a comment and image at random here. So you can see that、um, that nice random number generator, and then. We're simply going to use the intent builder inside of ShareComPat to build out our intent. So this is where we're constructing our share intent, and we're simply going to take that random、uh, comment and image in the previous lines and set the text to that particular comment. So that will open up the share dialog with the text pre-filled、uh, as as you set it. Once we set the text type, in here it's just a, a plain text, and grab the intent from the share intent builder, we can fire off the intent. And we thought we'd show you what that looks like on in our app. So Shirag is going to show you. And as you can see, the 
application picker popped up. He selected Google Plus and was able to share um, an image that popped up in the in the bottom as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is show you how you can effectively direct um, the share intent to a particular application. In our case, we're going to open up the Google Plus app to handle the intent. So for that, we're just going to share the Google Plus page. So we're going to build the same sort of share intent using the share the intent builder in ShareCompat. We're going to get um, a string that says uh, it talks about sharing the Google Plus page, the NASA Google Plus page. And then we're going to add in this line down here called set package. And all we're doing is setting it to the Google Plus application package on the Android phone. And this allows the share intent to be directed towards the Google Plus app. So again, we're going to start the intent. We're going to fire it off and show you what that looks like as well. So instead of going to the application picker, um, the Google Plus shared dialog opened up with the text and link pre-specified there. Now you can also see that there's a nice preview of the link included in the post. Um, there's a little, there's a picture as well as a description, and that is drawn out of the link and into the post and attached in a rich fashion. So and once uh, he presses, he sends it off. Um, it will be shared into the stream. Now, if you're looking at, at my stream, uh, or my posts, you'll see that it also tells you that it, each post came from Curiosity, I believe, V1 and V2. Okay, so the, the last thing, I mean, what we need to let Curiosity take some pictures and send them across to its rover friends, right? So we will take a photo, we'll let Curiosity take a photo, and share it. So here you see this method, take and share photo. We're simply going to let the app use the, it, the camera on my phone to take the photo. So we're going to open up a camera uh, intent here. We're going to tell it where to store the file after it takes the photo. And then instead of saying start activity, we're actually going to use start activity for result so we can get the data back from the camera. OK. So how do we actually construct the intent? Well, if everything goes OK, so the user, th so Curiosity didn't cancel out of the image or anything, um, we're going to go ahead and find the file that was created. And then we're going to essentially get the path to the file and use it in the share intent. We're also going to get a couple comments um, to pre-fill some text as well. So then when we construct the share intent, again, we're going to use the same intent builder. But you'll see a couple extra things here. In addition to setting the text, we're also going to set the stream. And here it is, we're going to parse out the URI to the file that we just that we took. And we're going to set the type, instead of being text plain, we're going to set it as an image JPEG. Now, you could capture other types of media, such as videos, um, and just set the type appropriately, and that would be shared into Google Plus as well. So we're going to start it off the same as we did before, setting the package and starting the activity. Um, additionally, it's good practice to clean up after yourself, so we're going to delete the temp file as well. If something should go wrong, we're going to just uh, let, let them know that we, we, uh, we had some trouble connecting to Earth, and we'll, we'll try again another time. So, Shirag, do you want to show us what that looks like? That's a beautiful... Uh Simulated Martian landscape we have there. Where did we gather all that stuff? Oh, it was a it was a combination of, of skill and you know whatever was in the cubes around us. 
I think I recognize the uh, sand from one of the cafes nearby. I think it's completely plausible. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we'll miss it. Hopefully not. Very lifelike. Mars-like. Um, so, you can see the image that, that Shirag captured of our, or Curiosity rather, captured of the Martian landscape. And once he clicks OK, or the check mark, it will be added to the post. And you can see it previewed attached to the post. So once he shares it, it'll be shared in that nice rich fashion that you see photos being shared on Google Plus today. Um, nice and large and a great all together, all around experience. So that's how to share text, links, and media from your Android application. We think that Curiosity is going to have a really good time with this. Some pretty cool stuff. So thanks a lot to Shirag for um, filling in the, the role of Curiosity <laughs> on there. That was pretty cool. Yes. How, how often can you say you, you acted the part of a Mars rover? It's very true. So mm -hmm. does Curiosity actually run Android OS? I, I don't know. I don't think so. But hopefully, maybe in the future. It would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe a future rover will be green to match. Little androids hopping around as that well. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is an office hour show. So all of you out there who are watching in the live stream, feel free to ask us questions either on the YouTube live stream. Hey, everyone. You may have noticed we just had a short blip, but we're back. <laughs> and we're going to repeat the questions in case they didn't make it to your screens. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them either on the YouTube live stream as a question, comment, or on the Google Plus event. So if you have something in mind, please ask. So starting with Nicolette, Nicolette asks about all the Google messaging services on her phone. She has Google Voice, Google Talk, Google Plus Messenger. She likes them a lot, but she's a little confused about so many of them, and she wants them merged. This is a great question or comment. And on this show, we usually focus on the Google Plus platform, which means building software and applications that use Google Plus APIs and tools. So this isn't something we're a great expert in, but we can tell you how to get in touch with the, the right experts. There's a send feedback tool that you can access on plus.google.com. You can also access it in your mobile Google Plus application. And that automatically routes your feedback, like this, to the right team so that the right people can see it. I'll be sharing a link to instructions on how to send feedback in the show notes. So grabbing the next question. But yes, thanks very much for that feedback. So Gerwin has a question. Gerwin heard about Google Play services. It was announced at Google I.O. It seems really cool. What is it, and when can he start using it? Um, so Google Play Services, which we did announce at I.O., um, is still coming soon. We're really excited to get it out to you. And as soon as, we, um, as, soon as it's available for you to start developing with, we will absolutely let you know. However, um, what we presented today was ShareCompat. That's available for you to use basically right now. Um, so I'd recommend going out, getting the support library, and start developing and incorporating that part into your apps in the meanwhile. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye on our blog and on our Google Plus page. Whenever we announce something, it shows up in both those places. Mm -hmm. And you will know right, right when everyone else does. Probably right when we do. <laughs> So I'm going to poke around for some more questions. And I don't actually see any other questions about mobile development with Google Plus today. So thanks a lot to all of you who asked questions, and thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks. We're pretty much wrapping it up for this week's session of the Google Plus Platform Office Hours. Mm -hmm. So remember, we have them every week um, with a different topic. And we like to field your questions, so always, always have them ready and in mind. So thanks a lot. Bye, everyone. Bye.